Hello all you Martians out there. It's your turn, fixed foot soul, with a bit of that old world flavor. You're tuned to Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Breathe easy, kick back, and reminisce. Take my hand, explain in me. This project called humanity. Don't let go while homeless arrive. There will be no surprise, all I know. Is that we shouldn't be sad when we think of the road. Chuchin would take my hand, her sublime take on our wonderful project called Humanity. Beautiful. Plenty more to come in to Soul Show, a show packed with stories and music to remind ourselves of where we are and how far we've come. Our first caller for the show calls it like it is and was a hard-hitting look back at the last days on Earth from the perspective of a shrewd businessman and loving father. Stories. 
the good old days. Original sources, authentic tales, hope, inspiration, drama. Bring your nostalgia from Mars. I worked in oil, brokering gasoline to be exact. It's a strange business, uh, probably not like you would actually imagine it to be. My day started something like this. I check Reuters and my sheets. See if there's been a change in the fundamentals. See if the spread's up or down. And then when the clock strikes go, I'm on the phone. I could be calling some commercial shop in Bumble, Kansas, where little old Sue Harris, with some sprinkle of Havana, a dancer, naturally. So pretty. She'd turn a priest's head or give a nun a Sometimes I wonder what happened to her. But we all had the same feeling. This can't last. And sure enough, we were right. First, you couldn't drink the water. Then you couldn't eat the crops. And pretty soon, we wouldn't be able to breathe the air. I remember looking at Emmy and wondering what kind of a future would she have. So I decided to do something about it. The Mars project was plan B for planet Earth, which was most evidently f The family and I had already put down roots in Tesla City by the time the great catastrophe really hit. The corporation knew my contacts in the world of drilling and refining would be useful, so I adapted my skills to something more practical. Now we are all that keeps this little planet running. Mining those Martian chemicals for the battery banks, Martian cement for the buildings. My pure little Emma has a future. When somebody sits down and writes this all up for the history books, it might just be men like me they'll be hailing as heroes. It's men like me who saved humanity. Men like me who took us further than we ever dreamt possible. Radio nostalgia from Mars. Some pretty heavy stuff. Reminds us that all kinds made it up here to Mars. But we're all in it together now and remain creatures of the world. You're a tight beam to Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Music for the lost days of Earth.
is an international relations to astronauts. Как светит солнце свет Бога, как прекрасна голубая земля. Говорится, Кей из роскосмоса Индии. Starih dobrih dana. Radio nostalgija sa Marsom. Ana Čočende and arguably the first interplanetary hit to astronauts and add them to the great evacuation and certainly one of our most popular requests. Speaking of requests, please follow habitat protocols for sanitation. No liquids other than bodily in the main bin, including pee. Some of you don't like it. But all water is recycled, so pee into the funnel installed next to your toilet, please. Speaking of pee and poop, we recently welcomed our first official little Martian to the colony. And our next caller, Sophia, tells us what it's like to be a new mother on Mars. <laughs> I'm so happy we moved to Mars. It was a project I funded from the very beginning. I knew it had potential and I trusted the amazing team working on it. As angel investors, my husband and I got early placements in the Ark ship. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to further human survival in our solar system. You may have noticed that it doesn't rain here on Mars. So another friendly reminder that showers are strictly limited to 30 seconds each with no exceptions. Corporate is looking into extending this time frame, but is meeting resistance from Section BC who want the lab rat urine to be excluded from the water recycling program, which would actually reduce allocated shower times to 27 seconds. Want to say in this? Join our sectional weekly meetings and vote while sipping on a relaxing tube of OMAS. Feels good? As it should. Radio nostalgia from Mars.
passes quickly. You blink, you'll miss the boat before it sinks. That does bring back memories of university days and sweaty club nights. Earthly hedonism at its finest. For the record, corporate does not endorse or advocate the use of psychedelic drugs and reminds you, dear listeners, that Class A drugs are just as illegal here on Mars as they were on Earth. Okay, disclaimer out of the way, we actually have a surprise for Mirva. We tracked down that weird song in her head and dug it out of the archives for all to hear. Grab a tube of Omas and enjoy the ride while sipping on pure calm. The deepest tunes, the warmest memories. Radio nostalgia from Mars. Repetition, 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 Listening to Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Well, what can I say? No wonder that song got into her head. But with a little help from some friends, she pulled through. Another thing that can get into your head is living conditions here on Mars. Life up here on Mars can get a bit overwhelming at times, so along with the soothing OMAS drink, no stress, no fuss. It bears mentioning that wellness counseling is mandatory for all team members, regardless of rank or tenure. The wellness sessions are completely confidential and anonymous, but do remember that all conversations are monitored and recorded for security reasons, and you must have your ID badge and sectional access pass visible at all times. Okay, time for another story. Our last caller for Tussol Show is Francesco who tells a haunting tale of his last days on Earth as the great catastrophe kicked into high gear. Stories, memories, the good old days, original sources, authentic tales, hope, inspiration, drama, radio nostalgia from Mars. It was an extremely humid summer. My parents would not let me out because of the floods in Italy. My father went outside I was working in the greenhouse, a vineyard, and my mother was a doctor. She read Italian fairy tales to me. I was very small, but I remember many days when our neighbors would gather at our house and make plans. It rained heavily at night. They would only say to me, powerful people want to take my great-great-grandfather's land. One image stuck in my memory 
It was daybreak. I woke up and I could faintly hear in the dark. to Only later I understood the history behind this song. Outside I saw men and women, my father and mother, rifles in their hands. My father was crying and singing. I was at the door of the house. My mother turned, smiled at me, but it was a mysterious, confident smile. Raccomando ai compagni vicini di tenermi da conto i bambini che io muoio e sia tu sei maledetta per ogni cuore che sente coscienza dolorosa ci fu la partenza e il ritorno per molti non fu Radio Nostalgia from Mars.
Peak there, reminding us that all the good things in the world are no substitute for love. So if you've recently matched with someone via our repopulation program and you've received a date for your first meetup, don't forget to add it to your mandatory diary. There does seem to be some confusion about scheduling based on the new double month standard, but it's really quite simple guys. There are now 24 months in our year and there are two of each month, January 1 and January 2, February 1 and February 2 and so on. Each month is now 28 souls long except for every 6 month which is 27 souls long. <laughs> I hope that clears up the situation. Any further queries in writing please can be submitted directly to the Mars Coalition for the simplification of the Martian calendar. <laughs> So, from trains and city soundscapes to rhythms born out of hands and feet, water and drums, we continue our journey into the past, into our collective memories of Earth, a celebration of sound as music, music as sound, and voices that carry us into the stars. In that vein, a friendly reminder that silence is deadly. If you hear nothing, please report it. General machine noise means we are being kept alive. Speaking of keeping us alive, 2 equals 1. Duplicates are not spares, people. Everything on Mars is duplicated for security, so please do not cannibalize existing tech. If something breaks, head directly to the spares and parts department in Sector 5 to submit your report and apply for official replacements. to recycle water to near 99% efficiency, the Gobi f Desert. There was always so much focus on saving the planet, saving the whales, saving bees, saving the trees. Save the deserts, am I right? Make them green. I knew it was over when those idiots deliberately tried to flood parts of the Sahara with one species of tree. I mean, come on. The publicity stunt by a French paper manufacturer with deeper pockets and no one blinked an eye. It was meant to help, but the Sahara Tree Project literally poured salt into the wound. It started out well enough, but some unknown fungus wiped them all out, but not before they had sucked all the fertile phosphorus out of the sun blowing over the Atlantic, effectively salting the Amazon basin like an Italian grandmother making tomato sauce. And then there was no turning back. Deserts are why we exist at all, you know. Now as much as then, so, history repeats itself. To paraphrase geologist William Graybo, the ancestors of modern man did not leave the trees, the trees left them. So, are we then the neo-great apes leaving the proverbial trees, the stars our new savanna? From that perspective, we didn't leave Earth so much as Earth left us. The desert was always one step ahead, and in a way, we started living on Mars before we even left. Ah yes, not all of us up here pine for the fjords. Put me in the desert camp for sure. That searing blue sky and endless horizon. I'm still not used to how close the horizon here is on Mars, and the strange sky still throws me off when I see it, and apparently I'm not the only one. The Recreation and Relaxation Department has asked me to remind those complaining about the red color filter on the windows of the Panorama Observation Deck that the sky on Mars is not blue, but salmon pink. So please bear that in mind when submitting your request to visit the Outer Domes. 
and also bear in mind that the waiting list is now double months long, so book early for the experience. You're tight beamed to Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Let's take a trip into the desert. Some sprinkle of Havana. A dancer, naturally. The soul. She turn a priest's head or give a nod of her. Sometimes I wonder what happened to her. But we all had the same feeling. This can't last. And sure enough, we were right. First you couldn't drink the water. Then you couldn't eat the crops. And pretty soon, we wouldn't be able to breathe them. Yeah. I remember looking at Emmy and wondering what kind of a future would she have. So I decided to do something about it. The Mars Project was Plan B for planet Earth, which was most evidently f The family and I had already put down roots in Tesla City by the time the great catastrophe really hit. The corporation knew my contacts in the world of drilling and refining would be useful. So I adapted my skills to something more practical. Now we are all that keeps this little planet running. Mining those Martian chemicals for the battery banks. Martian cement for the buildings. My pure little Emma has a future. When somebody sits down and writes this all up for the history books, it might just be men like me they'll be hailing as heroes. It's men like me who saved humanity. And like me, who took us further than we ever dreamt possible. Radio nostalgia. Radio nostalgia from Mars. Some pretty heavy stuff. Reminds us that all kinds made it up here to Mars, but we're all in it together now. And remain creatures of the world. You're a tight beam to Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Music for the lost days of Earth.
values and in international relations to astronauts. Америка убила иракцев, убила чей аренды и ламуны. Она убила корейцев и вьетнамцев, распространяя демократию. Don't get me started on Stalin and your talent to suffer on the stars, my friend. Your history is long. You also inflicted scars to astronauts. Argued about art, values and international relations to astronauts. Two tongues, but still for hours they talk. The same oxygen in their lungs, the same thrill on their space wall. i starih dobrih dana. Radio nostalgija sa masom. Ana Čočande and arguably the first interplanetary hit Two Astronauts, an anthem to the great evacuation and certainly one of our most popular requests. Speaking of requests, please follow habitat protocols for sanitation. No liquids other than bodily in the main bin, including pee. Some of you don't like it. But all water is recycled, so pee into the funnel installed next to your toilet, please. Speaking of pee and poop, we recently welcomed our first official little Martian to the... Open and 
don't you blink You'll miss the boat before it sinks Sunlight passes quickly like bursts like a bomb Like a child in the morning This is quickly. It flies by. You blink, you'll miss the boat before it sinks. Slide fast as quickly like bursts like a bomb, like a child in the morning. It will soon become so old as clothes and don't you are home away from home. Radio nostalgia from Mars. Now, as much as we appreciate our regular callers, there is one person we would really love to hear from, a man many of us owe our lives to, our national hero, the Mars mission pilot, who brought us here safely so many years ago. Believe it or not, he finally made it back to Earth. After all these years, his dream finally came true. As we all know, he's at a very difficult time adapting to life here on Mars. We all have, just not in the public eye like him. So Charlie, this is Radio Nostalgia from Mars, personally reaching out to you. Charlie, we'd really appreciate it if you took some time to share a bit of the atmosphere of a mirth with us. I'm sure many of our listeners are eager to hear your thoughts on being back. Just speak into the mic in your helmet. A few recorded words. Anything. worth a shot. I know he's the biggest fan of Radio Nostalgia from Mars, and he's probably listening now from a rooftop somewhere in Alphaville. So stay tuned to see if he responds. But to be honest, I don't think we'll be hearing from him anytime soon, sadly. Oh well, who can blame him? Let's not spoil his moment any longer. Continue our own trip down memory. Salute. 
Es kann Natur die Körne winter, Twelve years later, the Mars mission. In a way, the people who killed my parents found me in Italy and recruited me. Saved me, you can say. It is ironic, no? My parents fought for freedom. I cannot say I'm free here on Mars. They took my semen this morning for the population increase program. Here, on Mars, often in the middle of the night, I hear my parents sing. Curitia tu sei maledetta per ogni cuore che sente coscienza dolorosa ci fu la partenza e il ritorno per molti non fu The deepest tunes, the warmest memories. Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Well, that brings us to the end of the show. It's been a real journey. Music, stories, and memories. Radio Nostalgia from Mars has it all. If you want to be involved with RNFM, have a story to tell, a memory to share, contact us via the usual internet channels and leave a short message outlining your contribution. Once your story idea is vetted and greenlit by corporate, we'll track you down to organize a time to record you. Please note that not all stories are accepted and we are not permitted to give out criteria, so stories and ideas are submitted at your own risk. A big thank you to our show sponsor, OMAS, the no stress, no fuss drink for the ultra elite. And a big thank you to corporate for allocating us this precious time and their resources on this type beam to you. I hope you've enjoyed the show. It's been a pleasure to take your hand. We're playing out with Crowded In My Mind, a song that always reminds us that no matter how cramped and stuffy we feel, in the end, there is always a breath of fresh air in memories of blue skies. Musica e stari dobri dana. Radio Nostalgia Samas. dumping of bodies a lot of bodies there were so many that some of those bodies had started washing up in our neighborhood so toxic even scavengers stayed away coincidentally it suddenly became much easier to get a multi-day work pass into alphaville we were so hungry and focused on other resources we didn't make the connection 
We assumed the workers were skipping on the visa. In fact, I was planning to do the exact same thing. So actually, I lucked out. I'm a small guy, and alcohol was so strapped for labour at that point that I was given an unscreened pass and ended up in heavy labour, moving enormous containers into storage with mechanical suits. But it didn't fit them, so I was just given a scanner instead and told to scan serial numbers all day. It was very hard to breathe, so I traded for a spare hazmat suit from a drunk guard and put it on. Not unusual at all to hang out all day in a hazy. Technically, just walking outside required one those days. That's what saved me twice. Whew. I mean, hindsight is 2020, but those containers were the rocket fuel, and in no way was it being stored and transported safely. All those guys died, withered to skin and bone. Nasty stuff. Again, it was all hidden in plain sight. Hell, we were all skin and bone at that point. We just assumed everyone was starving. I only got onto one of the last ships up to Mars because I was in a hazmat suit and holding that scanner, which I think had stopped working within the first days of my assignment. I never told anyone and no one ever asked. I guess I was confused with security or something. All I remember is... of the suit. I never saw my crew or this guy again. Where do you start at the Mars? Wow, what amazing luck to be in the right suit at the right time. Just goes to show, dressing appropriately for the job can really go a long way.
fact, despite an average temperature of well below minus 80 degrees centigrade, if you step outside, it's not so much That's due to the low atmospheric pressure outside. You can see no place for us to hide, no room for love to be. Ah, surveillance love song, an oldie, but a goodie. Sophie Jazz reminding us that love remains as complicated as ever, despite our patented matchmaking algorithms and genetic profiling. On the subject of complications, the Mars Time Conglomerate has asked me to mention that even though a Mars soul is 40 minutes longer than a day on Earth, you do not have to manually add 40 minutes to your clocks every soul. We are officially on Mars clock time, so every second, minute and hour across all systems and devices are 2.7% longer by design. I know it's confusing at first, but just keep time as usual. For all practical purposes, we live a 24-hour day up here, just like we did on Earth.
Slušajte, radio nostalgiju za Mars. Ok, on with the show. Well, we've had a few requests for some classical music, and boy do I have a double treat for all you classical and vinyl lovers out there. A genuine record playing off an actual record player on loan from a dedicated RNFM fan. So grab a tube of OMS, sit back, and enjoy some chill, neoclassical vibes with that warm vinyl sound right here on Radio Nostalgia from Mars. city in the morning, a call and response of cars and birds. And the giggling of my kids in Washington Square as a group of street performers play the boombox and do tricks.
kettle going off and the smell of Turkish coffee. And for some reason, I'm obsessed with the sound of the New York MTA. Mm-hmm. 